everyone. I'm Dr. Choi, the, an editorial fellow of Zippo. Today, I'm here to have a discussion with Dr. Sewan Pirimaye, the medical director of Sir H. N. Ryan's Foundation Hospital and the Research Center, Mumbai, India, also the member of the Zippo editorial board. Today's topic is tumor molecular board in India with selected questions. Anyway, thank you for joining us and we can dive into our discussion. Question number one, uh, could you tell us about the, the past situation of tumor molecular board in India, especially compared to the state? So Choi, that's a very relevant question. When we talk about uh, molecular tumor boards, there is a dearth of molecular tumor boards, I, I believe worldwide and uh, so is it in India also. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been trying to run molecular tumor boards at my center and uh, collaborate with people, leaders outside the center for two and a half years now. Mm -hmm. It's all the challenge. Initially, uh, the challenge was to get adequate attendance representation for case presentations, interesting cases, mm -hmm. but more recently, I have to tell you that it has caught steam. I found a lot of support. And in addition to running the MTB, which we call, uh, you know, we, we hear, we call it the molecular tumor board MTB. Uh, in addition to running the MTB at my own center, I was able to uh, gather more steam and sort of extend uh, outside the center. And uh, we co-founded a movement called Impact India International where we uh, get together oncologists from all over the country and molecular scientists from the country. We get together to discuss cases in a molecular tumor board. And there's a lot of recognition. Uh, the founding members uh, are from outside my institution, Dr. Myself, Dr. T. Raja and Dr. Nirmal Rao, three of us founded this movement. And now we have uh, a lot of allies in senior medical oncologists and senior molecular scientists who've come together to propel this effort further. In addition to running uh, this, I also do molecular tumor boards at my own center mm -hmm. at a weekly basis. And uh, I am also a co-founder of an, a precision oncology initiative, which is a global initiative through which we are uh, providing uh, molecular uh, direction and precision cancer care to the global audience, including molecular tumor boards. Uh, thank you for your answer. And question number two, how has it changed recently in clinical practice in India? That's again a very relevant question. So mm -hmm. uh, if you look at how uh, precision or molecular angle has changed cancer care, uh, mm -hmm. I feel it has brought a huge impact to how we address patients in advanced stage. And now we know that a lot of this effort is also moving to uh, early stages of cancers. So understanding the disease biology, the cancer pathways, and adequately understanding the biomarkers, which we call new age biomarkers, and targeting them is the call of the hour. In India, this is a new voice. I feel that this is relatively uh, recent, relative, the impact is rel relatively new, but the revolution has arrived. This is similar to the revolution that I saw in the US a decade ago. Uh, we are a decade late, but it's happening and no one can stop it. You know, the young generation of oncologists are really looking out for biomarkers and they are also looking out for answers to biomarker driven application of treatment. So you see a lot of buy-in from the uh, new generation, from the, uh, from the young oncologists, and also the uh, hospital systems and the leaders in oncology are uh, turning towards biomarker-driven therapy, being more precise and personalized in their treatment. And so it has brought about a revolution in the way we practice oncology care, uh, even in India, and it's permeating the tier two, tier three cities. Right now, it's mainly seen in tier one, but education and awareness is enhancing by the day. 
and it's permeating into the uh, smaller cities and you know young leaders are uh, are emerging and i think consumer the patient today is very aware so they are seeking higher level of care they are seeking uh, precision and that's where i feel forums to discuss the genomic findings to discuss the biomarker driven treatment approach these forums are the need of the hour and molecular tumor boards are definitely you know they are seminal they are integral to such representation and so um, they are happening and they are going to happen to a larger extent in the growing indian uh, oncology population in the next few years to come that's my feeling my gut feeling and i'm already say, seeing it playing out and it's a wonderful time okay yeah so it's great mm -hmm. and then number 3 Uh, could you explain the utility and accessibility of tumor molecular board in clinical practice? Yeah. So utility, as I said, is huge because these are forums where simple biomarker discussions can happen, complicated discussions can happen. Each patient, as we know, it could bring in a clinical challenge, a genomic challenge. To integrate all that is not an easy job. when we sit together and we uh, deliberate on a case we figure out nuances that were never thought out and the application and implication to therapy can be huge so i feel that the uh, utility is uh, eternal it's it's so big we can't even begin to define i think there is more to come this is just the tip of the iceberg so that takes care of the utility in terms of accessibility accessibility of molecular tumor boards in india is a challenge because there are uh, limited centers foraying into that area right now because there is dearth of expertise there dearth of time there's such volume in india you know the number of cases are so huge each case is specific special and tests are also deficient so uh, before we got into this conversation me and you we were chatting in how a lot of our patients are actually not funded a lot of the diagnostic tests tests also don't happen even in young patients where you know that there could be a definite genomic basis to the causation of their disease actually we fall short because the genomic analysis was not done but the irony is many times i see the genomic analysis done the report in the file and no action taken that truly breaks my heart that's where i feel that molecular tumor board has to come front and center to be able to give answers to tests that have already been done simple tests could actually change the path to treatment for so many patients and those tests are not happening or if they have happened they are not applied treatment strategies are not applied so Uh, it's the need of the hour and we have to make molecular tumor boards more accessible we are falling short of that so our center most certainly intends to lead this effort in this part of the world and uh, we are all geared towards that and making efforts every day to make it more comprehensive and make it more accessible to uh, the oncology community mm -hmm. I see. Anyway, that's a really good point. I think many other countries have the same issues that about that as this virility or so just limited use of real drug. Yes. Yeah, so, okay, that's good. And the number 4, uh could you tell us about the how molecular board affect clinical trial in India? Yeah. So, uh, cl clinical trials in India are arriving. a lot of trials uh, have come in that look at uh, uh, targeting a particular pathway targeting resistant pathways uh, combination therapy applications and so there has been uh, an avalanche of trials coming into the country having said that there is still reservation and skepticism to participation in clinical trials because of the thought of being the experimental subject and so uh, a lot of awareness and uh, sort of conversion of the thought process is required and uh, you know investigators like myself go out there and really try to uh, put in this thought process forward to introduce people 
to uh, the concept of clinical trials and accessibility to novel drugs through clinical trials in oncology. It's not just an experiment, it's also access to novel drugs to this part of the world. And I feel there's much work required. We are still falling short, a lot of room for improvement and a lot of need for clinical trials, mainly to bring um, cutting edge therapy uh, to this, you know, to, 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 the, to this part of the world. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so the last question, uh, you already say some challenges in clinical practice and clinical trial, but are there any other future challenges or way to forward? Yes, so um, I think one of the biggest challenges in India is to be able to get people together to form a recommendation. Mm -hmm. Practitioner is overwhelmed. People are giving out recommendations individually. Oncology care is deficient when you get individual recommendations. I think when a case is complicated, you have to put your heads together. Multidisciplinary approach is the name of the hour. That itself requires a synchrony. That requires people to come together to be able to give a recommendation. If you mix that with the genomic complicated reports and the clinical scenario, that's even a more complicated situation. So there was earlier, there was histopathology, there was surgery, radiation, medical oncology, and now there's molecular oncology, there's bioinformatics, there's inter interpretation of all the biology that you get and to integrate it with the regular clinical oncology recommendations. So I feel that the challenge is even more enhanced. But when the challenge enhances more, you know that there are going to be many more answers. So an optimist here would think that there are that many more options for the patient. So again, it's a good problem to have, but that's the area where we have to step up and define strategies, standard operating procedures, SOPs, where you can handle volume, where you can take up cases, have SOPs in place where X number of things will be done for the patient to give a comprehensive answer, a multidisciplinary answer to the patient so that cancer care can be, can be done in a strategized way, more personalized around the patient's needs and biomarker signature so that the treatment can have better outcomes. It's all about giving and delivering higher outcomes, which includes response, survival, quality of life, and uh, decrease mor morbidity and mortality. And all of that, I think, will only come when people come together. So that's an area where we really need to make progress and make strides in India. And I, I think the practices in the uh, uh, SARC nations, the Southeast Asian nations are also uh, similar and a lot of integration to care and integration to cancer care is needed. Starting from screening, early diagnosis to application of biomarker driven therapy, all of that needs to be more synchronized and concerted rather than ind individualized approaches. Okay, I see. And then uh, thank you for your explanation and perspective about the tumor, tumor molecular board in India. Mm, as you mentioned, but I believe many patients in India will benefit from this de dedicated work by providing more treatment opportunities and it can broaden our scientific knowledge, impression on oncology and clinical trial in India and other countries. Yeah, all of us. So anyway, thank you for joining us again and have a wonderful day.